Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a much anticipated unboxing of the new Tabby Messenger that is currently launching everywhere, in stores, online. Everybody's very excited about this, but I have my reservations, but we'll go into that in just a second. If you are new here, hello, I am Ralph by Design. I do unboxings, vlogs, bag-related content here on my YouTube channel and over on my Instagram. If that's something you do enjoy, please consider subscribing. They're both at Ralph by Design. And without any further ado, let's get into this unboxing. All right, here it is. This is in a bigger box this time because this is the larger size. This is the medium. Um, my buy now tabby was a 19, which is the small size. And the strap was just too short and didn't really work out. So I'm hoping that this one is going to work out. Maybe because it is the medium, it's going to have a longer strap. So let's see how different this is compared to the buy now tabby. And I do have my reservations about this bag just because the strap length, the strap is not removable. And I don't know, especially the bigger that you get to me, it just reminds me of messenger bags that I had in high school. So it just reminds me of business, getting work done, going to school. I get the kind of look they were trying to go for with that vintage kind of vibe. But I don't know if it's going to translate, at least to me, not saying that this isn't going to be a great bag for you, but for me, it just might not be it because with my small one, once everything was said and done, it just didn't make me happy. So I had to give her a new home to a loving, loving home where she'll be loved and used. So let's hope that this bigger size, that's not too big because they also have the large and that one is large. I think that's even bigger than my messenger bag that I had in high school. So let's hope that this medium is going to be just right. A little Goldilocks moment. Plus this is a very special leather. So let's get into this. I ordered this from Neiman Marcus. They have it kind of like on a pre-order kind of deal. I don't think it's available on the site currently, um, but it does jump from being in and out of stock. Right. Here it is. They did have the C-Class facing down on the box and this is a very delicate leather, so I'm worried about that. All factory wrapped. I'm excited for this. It is a nice size. Here she is in such a beautiful color. I will tell you, the color difference is really, really noticeable in person between this new smooth leather and the pebbled leather that I have for my Rogue. Like if you look at them too, I don't know if it's uh, registering on camera, but in person, there is definitely a huge difference, especially with this different leather. This is your regular glove tan pebbled leather. But here, this is in what they're calling now the Grace Leather. From what I've told, this new Grace Leather is a rebadging of the original natural leather that we've seen in a lot of other bags. My um, crossbody, Utility Crossbody 18 is in the natural leather. Uh, I did a cash-in video with that natural leather. Let's finish unwrapping this some more and then we'll dive a little bit more about this leather and the bag itself. All right, here she is in all her glory. This leather is so soft and smells so, so good. Um, so this is the Coach Grace Leather Tabby Messenger, style number CK022 in the color Burnished Amber, and it retails for $5.95. So this is the medium size, like I said, you guys. The one that you've seen in my previous video was the small. This is gonna be definitely for a lot more people, more of an everyday carry. You can fit a lot more in here. Let's talk about this new Grace Leather. All it is, it's just a rebranding of Coach's original natural leather. It is naturally dyed, and it is very, very sensitive to all the elements. So water, sun, heat, that's all going to affect this leather and how it ages, how it patinas, the color. And so if you're not a big fan of sensitive leathers, this is definitely not for you. 
Um, just even saying you're washing your hands at the sink and you get a little water splatter it gets on here, that could possibly stain it or just from wearing it. Um, on your side, the sun's hitting the front. It is going to tan everything that the sun is going to hit. So any places that's like underneath will be lighter than uh, what you see on the outside. Um, it definitely gives it a lot of character and it's really beautiful. I have found that with some Carbon Pro protection, it does a world of difference. I haven't had any issues with my Utility Crossbody 18. I completely uh, protected that with Carbon Pro. If you guys are interested in Carbon Pro, I linked it all down below. And I have my video shows you how to apply it. It has really helped so my bag doesn't get stained, doesn't change colors. But like I said, this is really sensitive. And uh, just from the oils in your hand, well, is going to change it up uh, quite a bit. What I feared what happened is when this bag was shipped to me in the box, it was face down. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but on the C clasp here and up at the top, right at the tip at the edge, it's gotten pretty dark. And that's just from rubbing. So as you guys just seen me unpack everything, everything was protected with this. But just from that light rubbing has caused that darkening on the C there. Not that big of a deal, but just keep in mind, you guys, this is a very sensitive leather. They're not marked grace leather or natural leather or anything on the bottom. It actually says vegetable tanned leather right there at the bottom, and it doesn't have the foil in it anymore. It's just embossed, no foil, no nothing. Not like uh, previous bags that they've had. As you can see, I don't know if you guys can see, but there is some marks on mine already at the top here. And like I said, that C clasp. So this is just, it comes with the territory of this leather. It's got your back pocket back here. It looks like they actually kept the magnet from the buy now version, which I actually really do enjoy that. It is the same mechanism, the lock mechanism as the buy now version. It's got a little button right here on the side. You just give it a good squeeze, pops right open. And to close it, you just push it back in. That is very satisfying. That's very substantial hardware on it as well. Unfortunately, what I predicted that coach was going to do, they definitely did. As you can see, the interior is microfiber. Um, I've heard some people say it was like a really great quality microfiber, but I don't know. Honestly, to me, this kind of looks cheap to me. It's kind of like a, you know, the uh, suede interior that was on the buy now versions were phenomenal. But this one is just, it, it kind of really cheapens the bag. And for $600, ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not a big fan of the microfiber interior. Some people don't mind that, but unfortunately I do, especially since I know exactly what it felt like in the buy now version. Um, that is definitely a thumbs down for that. All right, so the interior setup here. It's got a, a back zip pocket there, and it has a front snap pocket there in the front. Um, other than that, that's your main pocket storage. So you have your front flat pocket there, also with that microfiber lining. And I don't know if you can see that, but you have your 1941 stamp and the leather stamp there. I do really like the silver hardware on it. It feels great. Um, this feels really nice. The buckle on it feels, it feels nice. Um, but at the same time, I believe it's hollow. Um, I love the grommets on the strap. Uh, unfortunately, the length is the same um, that I remember from the 19 version or the smaller version. So it's definitely not a crossbody for me either. It's just a shoulder kind of moment, which I don't know if I love that. I really wish Coach um, would have made the straps longer and just made like, maybe like a little snap at the end. I know for like shorter people, they don't want this leather hanging around everywhere. So if they would have put like maybe a little grommet here, a little snap, and then on the end there to hold it down. I don't know. I just feel like when you have these kind of straps that are permanently attached like this, 
You definitely want to make sure that people are going to be able to wear this that are taller or bigger, um, like I am. And unfortunately, they didn't do that. So I don't know. I don't know if this is a keeper. I kind of feel the same way that I felt with the smaller version um, and some. You know, like losing that suede line to me is kind of like a big deal. And the leather on this though, I absolutely love. It is beautiful. It smells amazing. Like I wish you could smell this. Um, I do love the like the C class. I, I feel like for a messenger style, I do enjoy it. I don't know, it's just like messenger styles to me. Yes, they are very retro and that's what's in right now. But I don't know, it, it's very business. It's very businessy, casual, I, I guess. And I don't know, it's just, is it probably gonna be something that I would reach for very often? Probably not. So that's something that I have to definitely think about if it's something that I am wanting to keep in my collection. Because if it is A, sensitive leather, B, it doesn't make me happy to where I'm going to be picking it up all the time, then can I justify the $600 price tag? I will say, the leather is amazing, but this, maybe in about six months to a year at the outlet, when it goes anywhere from 50 to 60% off, then maybe I would pick one up then for sure. Um, and then I could justify that um, microfiber lining on it. But at $600, <sighs> I think personally myself, this is going to be a pass for me, unfortunately, but you can't love them all. I do really enjoy all the variations, the texture, the color. The, the color is beautiful. Um, I will definitely say that the burnished amber on this natural leather looks way better um, than on this version here. It feels like a quality leather, but like I said, like they were almost there. And then they slap the the microfiber interior on it to me, which just cheapened it up. Like I said, I'm not knocking this bag at all. It is beautiful. A lot of you guys will absolutely love this. And definitely uh, for you, if it's something that you were thinking about getting, I would say definitely uh, try it out. It's going to be a great size to carry every day. But for me... I'm probably gonna pass on this until I see it pop up at the outlet, you know, anywhere from 50 to 60% off. This coach is going crazy right now with everything Tabby. They got the new Tabby 26s, they have the Tabby Messenger, they have a Tabby box bag that I've ordered and it is on the way. So they're just really going in on Tabby. Um, I'm a little like, hmm, about the Tabby 26 just because I find that resale wise the tabby 26 is very hard to sell and when you do you kind of have to really slash your prices so i'm wondering why they're going in so hard with the tabby but i mean who knows maybe it is a big seller at the retail stores but it's just unfortunately one of the uh bags that i've noticed that doesn't really hold its value very well so that is the new tabby messenger let me know in the comments down below what you guys think is the style for you is this leather for you if this is a bag that interests you i hope this video helped you out i hope it helps you decide and see the color the texture of what exactly you'll be getting in person thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you guys on the next one and don't forget stay extra out there bye